This is part six of Ninja Jumper made with Pygame Zero on Moo. So we're gonna have a go now at preventing the lateral left, left and right movement in midair. At the moment, my jumper guy can still travel left and right in midair. And it just means that it looks unrealistic and you can also travel across the screen very, very quickly. So I'm just gonna change that to make it a bit, be a bit more realistic. So first things first, we need to add in a couple more variables for the ninja. So right at the top here, I'm gonna add in allow X. So this is gonna be, be what prevents the um, uh, movement along the X axis. So I'm gonna call that true, allow X equals true. And then I'm gonna add a timer equals to square brackets. So a list, not a dictionary, a list. Okay, timer equals a blank list. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to my ninja move function and I'm gonna then straight away globalize those variables. So I'm gonna add in allow x and jumped. Okay, so add them in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to gravity. So what I'm gonna do is when, um, when I have then reconnected, if I've jumped, I'm in midair, I'm falling, um, and I'm not allowed to move. Uh, when I do reconnect with the ground, I want to be allowed to move again. So I'm going to set that back to true after we'll set it to false a bit later. So allow x equals true. And then we're also going to reset the timer equals two square brackets, square brackets for a lit blank list. So that's just resetting our variables back um, after we've, we've prevented that left right lateral movement. So now we're gonna go down into the gravity section. So this is where we're gonna add in the code um, for, for this bit. So um, in line with this if, okay, um, the gravity if, we're gonna add in um, a use of the timer. Now inside Pygame, there is automatically a timer going from the start of the game. And that's one of the reasons we imported time at the start as well, as well as the scheduling. Um, so I'm gonna say timer dot append so we're going to append append to that list okay we're going to append pi game dot time dot get underscore ticks bracket 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 okay so it's actually going to get the time since the game has started and it's going to append that to the list okay so as the as the game as we're jumping as we're in midair it's going to print that out let's see if actually if if that will work if i just do print timer i think that should work um local variable timer reference before assignment i wrote the wrong variable at the top didn't i i wrote jumped again i should have written timer okay let's go back down here and there we go so yeah as you can see as i jump that list is being printed out at the bottom as i jump um we're getting that list is being filled with the time since the game began in milliseconds. So that's what we're gonna be using to time how long we've been in midair. So now we need to, um, to do some stuff. So uh, I'll just add in after that. So after the timer, we're gonna say if len bracket timer is greater than five and and not jumped okay so um so what that's doing is it's allowing us to move a little bit when we've jumped recently so say for example you you can jump forwards you can jump backwards you can jump left and right you can do that that's a normal movement but you can't move whilst you're falling um, so that's what we're, we're allowing we're allowing a little bit of movement left and right whilst you're jumping but not whilst you're falling so we're saying allow x equals false so there we go so we're stopping the left and right movement and then let's change the costume as well so i'm going to say ninja dot image equals jumper dash up so that's the first um, the first falling um, image of the ninja, okay? But I've also made a few other images of the ninja where he's falling a bit faster, okay? So this makes a little bit of a sort of animation, okay? So 
tab it in once so we're in line with where we've just uh, we've just changed that image and we say if um, again same same code really if uh, len timer but this time greater than 20 okay I'm going to change the image to um, jump up well I forgot to change that so the first one's jump up it is jumper up sorry jumper up and then the next one is called jumper fall so this is when he's falling a bit and it, I've, I've added in some uh, really high-tech animation of it make of some little lines coming off the top of him as if he's moving fast okay and then we can put that in again beneath we can say if len timer greater than 30 jump of fall too so if he's falling really far those lines increase and it just adds a nice little bit of animation to the game it's it's subtle but it, if you got really high and fall you see it adds little lines after them and i think that adds a nice little effect and it just shows you one way you can add in some animations to imitate some some wind movement as he's falling i thought that was a bit fun right so now let's actually add in the code to prevent the left and right movement so we're going to go down here. So we're going to say if keyboard left and allow X. Okay, then we allow left and right movement. Okay, and then if keyboard right and allow X, allow X. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to go print allow X just so we can see what's going on. Okay, I'll get rid of my other prints for timer. And I think there was one more. Let's just find that print timer. And there was print allow X. And there was a print ninja velocity down there. So let's just get rid of those. Just hashtag that out. So I'm only printing out the allow X. Right. So now here we go. So it's true. So true means I'm allowed to move left and right. Okay. But if I'm falling, okay, it went to false. Let's just do that one more time. Falling. It goes to false now what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna fall and I'm gonna to try to move left or right there you go it prevents it okay so it's a bit more realistic I get a, I'm not allowed to move left or right it also means when I'm walking down the steps this happens which is much more realistic look I'm actually hitting each step rather than flying over them as I have done previously okay uh, and it, it does allow me to move a little bit whilst I've just jumped okay but um, but then you just fall okay so it makes makes it much more realistic um, the final thing I'm just going to show you in this video is I'm going to show you how to do one more costume for the jumping okay so we're going to say straight under where we've made the the left image or the right image we're going to say if keyboard dot left and jumped so we're using that jumped one before so if we've jumped recently and we're moving left Okay, I can say ninja dot image equals uh, jumper jumper dash j left so jump left. Okay, and I'm just going to literally copy and paste that, but remember to change it. So again, I'm going right. Come on. Um, so if we're going right and we've jumped keyboard right and we've jumped we're going to say image j right so i've added in some other images if we're jumping play there we go so now look at that so i've got a little little um little graphic there a little costume for him so his little kick up as if he's jumping up left and doing a little kick at the same time and jumping up right okay so there we go so this is the movement of the ninja um finished so the ninja itself is finished so with a ninja I can run backwards and forwards he can jump up left and right and he can kick okay and then also when he falls um, we get a little animation of making him look like he's falling through the air because he's falling so fast very good so um, there's a few more things we can do first of all is the platforms we fall off the platforms which is a bit unrealistic you wouldn't fall off a moving platform you'd stand on it so we'll work on that and we'll add in some other other more little fun little bits in following videos okay so that was part six of ninja jumper go and have a go at that